Hello everyone. Okay, welcome back to our channel. Okay, as we have learned before in the grid generation part one, we used to create rectangular grid using the dev dashboard, and now we are going to continue our session with the curvy linear grid using the RGF grid uh, in the dev 3D. Okay, so firstly we need to open up our dev 3D. Right. Okay, then we need to set up our working directory. Okay, submission. Okay. All right, and then we go to the grid. Okay, open up the RGF grid. Okay. Okay, as a reference point, we need to open up our land boundary. So we know where is the exact location for our domain of our research area. So go to a file, attribute file, and open up the land boundary. Okay, click on the shoreline of Pahang. For example, this is my study area. Okay. Okay, as we are chosen before, so we continue with the same area okay here is my study area we can see a little bit curve here so now we are trying to do the curvy linear so basically the rectangular is mainly used for the straight curves like for example here and the curvy linear is for the curve uh, the place that curve so we can like stimulate the uh, the simulation based on the reference of our place okay so as we already open up our uh, land boundary now we need to do a next step is to create the grid so to create that we need to grow the grid from a spline so we need to create a spline for our reference first okay so we need to go to edit oh, sorry okay edit supply and then uh, new okay and then we go to okay just click up okay i will explain up the button here first okay this is to create a new poly or a spline this is to delete the whole of the uh, line okay this is to insert a point in the middle of a line okay t is uh, uh, to move one point to another point okay this one is to delete a point now we need to draw our first line okay so i uh, for the curvy linear is just like a fan or roughly a shape that is accordingly to the area example here i'm trying to recreate to this part so just click up here and then here okay and then if you already okay with the line that you already draw just right click okay to confirm it and then try to draw it again for another place okay, here and also here roughly all right and then you need to do the uh, along the shore this cross shore okay so you need to do the along the shore basically i just do uh, very close here and then very broad on the offshore part so I, uh, normally i will start from the uh, ashore okay for example like this Okay, if you do a mistake here, for example, you can click on here to delete all the line. If you want to delete one line only or one point, so just click. Delete. Okay. Do the 
internal line okay Okay, so we can see roughly of our uh, shape for the grid. If you want to adjust it, you can move other move or insert point. Okay, for example, okay, click again, and then it will turn the dot to square, and then you can draw. Okay. So I want to add up another extra line. Okay. So we got our spline. Next we need to do we need to change it to the grid. So to do that we need to go to the operation and then uh, click here. Change spline into grid. Okay. So we got our grid. Okay. Uh, after that, we need to orthogonalize our grid. Uh, normally, I will repeat like two or three times. But we can see uh, the orthogonality when we check the orthogonality later. So, we go to uh, operation and then we click on orthogonalize grid. Okay. Do one more time. Okay. Alright, so you can see it's been orthogonalized. To check it, you just go to view, uh, go to uh, grid property, click on orthogonality, and then uh, okay, continue shape. Okay, as I mentioned before, for the orthogonality, uh, it must be near zero okay so it on the grid is smooth the orthogonality basically is the value uh, on every corner of the grid uh, the closer to the 90 degree the better the blue color is uh, mostly uh, almost 90 degree in angle for every corner of the grid okay then you need to close that gravity. Okay, so we need also we do need also to hide our spline because we does not want to use it. All right. Now we need to check our um the origin the x and y origin as i mentioned in my previous video the origin must uh, located at the offshore boundary so to check that we go to view illustration the not number so now our boundary is uh, the x original and y origin is located here all right so we need to rotate the grid so that our origin is located here so we need to go to the operation and then click on grid rotate administration you need to do it twice all right first and then the last one all right so it located uh, on the offshore boundary okay then we close our uh, node number all right uh, next is to uh, resizing our grid as uh, I show you before on the part 2.1 on the rectangular grid we need to vary vary our grid size so that we can uh, reduce the compositional time and also uh, and also uh, make the area that we want to study more refined compared to the offshore okay so to do that as before we need to go to edit okay 
and then choose the rectangular grid okay so we need to do the refine grid locally okay so we uh, in the setting we need to change all right uh, the refinement factor for m and m for example is now three all right for example here i'll show you all right so the last grid will divide be divided into three smaller grid okay. so you need to do the whole area like so so here i already uh, resize it okay uh, i got a few varying uh, grid size uh, for example here 50 100 50 20 10 5 10 okay also for the along the shore okay now we need to do a uh, grid smoothness so that we don't see a very large large gap between the uh, rough and the smooth and the smaller one okay so we need to go to edit okay click on rectangular grid a regular grid and then choose a uh, line smooth okay so we click at the end of the line to the other end of the line okay if we are satisfied with it okay we need to do on this side also So now we can see that it is more smooth. All right. Okay, uh, that is the finished grid for our study area. So to save it, we go to uh, export and then just click on grid. That's all. Okay, thank you.